Okay. I don't know what Janet Collection did to make Willow and Roxy really comfortable, but they need to do that again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is really exciting because Janet Collection has some more natural me wigs. They are brand new, they recently launched, and they are under $30. These are blown out wigs for type three and four naturals. They come in kinky straight, curly, wavy, and pre-braided styles. In today's video, I'm going to go with a slightly different theme. And what I'm going to do is show you three different wigs that are similar in style, but different in length so I can figure out what length I would like for summer. They are all lightweight, so really even the long ones should be just fine, but I am going to start with Audrina. Audrina is the shortest wig out of the bunch and we're just gonna slowly grow. This one is a shoulder length bob and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wig cap construction. It's gonna be the same for all of them because they're all middle parts. And what I have here is a middle part T part wig with ear to ear Swiss lace. I also have combs on each side of the lace parting, but I'll be removing those because they damage my hairline. Before I do that, however, I'm going to go ahead and darken this lace. It's a little bit light. Okay, it's a lot light. <laughs> and I need to darken this so that I can wear the wig and not look crazy. So I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Pro in Clove. It's a little bit too light for me. So it's the kind of shade that I use. It's actually discontinued and I have like three of them, but it's the kind of shade I use for my lighter areas on my face. Bare Minerals powders do have good coverage and that's why I love them. You can use other products like concealers and foundations and stuff, but I want to finish all of my pressed powders and old products. So for me, priority is always whatever is oldest. Before we even go too far, I'm going to go ahead and remove my combs using my seam ripper. I usually leave the back comb because I'm fine with securing that. I've never had any bolding in the back. First, I'm going to start with my, what is this? Wig grip band on here. It's gonna prevent the middle part from shifting all the way back because you know, I do have quite the forehead and of course a wig cap over. Put on some makeup in my part area and Audrina is one of those wigs that made me nervous because she's the type of wig that just looks like when you put her on, she's not going to look like the website at all. And that's just kind of the vibe I got from her, but I thought she was so cute and I was like, you know what, at least give it a fighting chance before you reject the wig, you know? So here I am. <laughs> Sometimes middle parts can be awkward for me, so what I decided to do was put a pin. She doesn't look exactly like the girl on the website Janet Collection. That's probably due to my face being different and just me not using the exact same tools that Janet Collection used to achieve that look. I'll let you guys judge. So you let me know what you think of Audrina and I'm gonna move on to Roxy. Another blowout lace wig with deep parting lace. I feel like Roxy is more my length. I like those 14 to 16 inch type wigs and she seems to be in that range. So Roxy has baby hairs. She's perfectly layered and she's ready to wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and retire Audrina. I'm gonna hang her on my coat rack so she doesn't lose her shape. When dealing with synthetic wigs, especially, you want to hang them on a coat rack or a mannequin. I have mannequins in my closet. That's what I do with mine to make them last just a little bit longer than they ordinarily would if I just... What do you guys do with your wigs? Because I usually hang mine up. If they're in use, they're hanging up somewhere. I'm not the best at applying a wig with got to be glued and stuff, but I'm pretty good at wig hygiene, so... Audrina is kind of tight. Roxy fits comfortably like a glove so if you were to clone a wig i would suggest you'd clone a wig like this because the fit is ideal but i'm not done yet so before i praise her too much let me finish the job get these baby hairs out and start you know doing something i'm gonna use my lovely bees edge control to lay my edges down just a little bit of product because I don't want it to be so greasy. I just want the baby hairs to lie down. That's it. You know I'm not good at this. She would be considered to be medium long and she's kind of like in my length range. So of course I'm naturally gonna gravitate to a wig like Roxy, simply because this is something I'm comfortable with. My hair right now is like 
this long. I like to keep my hair just like an inch past armpit length. That's it, because that's all I can manage right now. And it's ideal for me to have a wig like this, maybe like a couple of inches shorter. Last wig, this is Willow, and she has softer curls, more like a silk press for sure. Let's get her situated. Wig cap construction is still the same. Okay, I don't know what Janet Collection did to make Willow and Roxy really comfortable, but they need to do that again and again and again. I feel like if I pluck a little bit near the part, see now this is a lot of hair. It's very long. It is super glam, but it is kind of overwhelming for me because it's so long, but I'm still gonna wear it. And obviously um, I can trim it if I want to, which is likely what I'm going to do after this video is just like take off about this much. Since I'm wearing a white top, I'm gonna wear this with my turban towel by Swirly Curly. It can be worn outside as a style, so I wanna see how it's gonna look. thinking you guys let me know I like this I really really like this this isn't how swirly curly wears theirs or advertised wearing theirs on their website I did not like that at all but this is generally I do the bantu knot I'm obsessed with bantu knots I think we all know this by now but I do the bantu knot when I do scarves and stuff so I like this all right guys thank you so much for watching as always natural hair tutorials will be I have hair in my mouth Natural hair tutorials are coming. I can't wait. I just washed my hair and I'm gonna trim it and I have reviews. I have things to talk about. So let me know which wig you like most on me or which you prefer for yourself. And definitely check out Janet Collection's Natural Me line if you want something more affordable and that is textured like black people's hair. <laughs>